Hi guys. Do you like my new my new shirt? My new Fauci shirt. I got my new pajamas. I got my uh <laughs> little buckskin pajamas with my Fauci sweatshirt here to uh so I can settle into hibernation as the horrible month of December 2022 begins in about, we're six hours away from uh, December. I think it is snowing on the other side of this curtain here. It is a Wednesday night, November 30th, 2022. Goodbye and good riddance to November and uh, hello December. So anyway, as, as you guys well know, I have found the main way I'm going to knock back a December, and that is with this new website I have found called uh, medium.com. Medium.com, where you can find more Doomer porn than anywhere I've ever discovered yet. It is a bottomless pit of Doomer porn and every... Everything else. It doesn't matter what you want to talk about, but we talk about, well, sometimes uh, we talk about doom and gloom on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So anyway, I was there, and I'm going to tell this story on myself. If I ever get to meet Lanny Rose, I have found this writer named Lanny Rose. Lanny and I are already uh, are already communicating back and forth. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, if I ever get to know Lanny better, I think she will have a, uh, a, 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 a laugh on this story. So I find this Doomer chick uh, on medium.com. I mean, I, I find her. She lives in the Santa Cruz Mountains where I lived for seven years. The Santa Cruz Mountains, one of my favorite places on planet Earth. She's my age, a couple of years older, but roughly my age. So I'm looking at her picture. You know, she looks kind of cute. She's got a cute smile, long red hair. You know how I like those uh, Doomer chicks with, with long red hair. Uh, and I'm thinking, you know, uh, I, could see a, I, I could see a match there. I wonder if she's attached. So... Uh, I'm thinking, uh, how can I ever meet up with Lanny? And I start reading her bio and immediately find <laughs> that Lanny is a tranny. Lanny is a tranny. Lanny uh, is a, uh, anyway, this person, Lanny, uses the pronoun she, not they. So uh, at least she does understand she is one person. So anyway, you know, it's just that the universe really has a sick, twisted sense of humor. But anyway, I, I hope I have found a new friend because Lanny Rose is, uh, is quite the uh, Doomer chick. Uh, and she does have, and I have to say reading, I've read about eight of her pieces, and uh, I have to say, Lanny is a tranny after my own heart, so I just picked this one uh, to give you. You can find Lanny over at medium.com. <clears throat> That's spelled L-A-N-N-I-E. Lanny uh, now has 711 followers. She describes herself... This is her total description under her picture. Nice to have a place where my writing can be ignored by millions. So, you know, I'm actually thinking of uh, maybe doing some writing for Medium.com. And Lanny is letting me know Medium.com is a fine place to have to come so your writing can be ignored by millions. But anyway, Lanny has, this is Lanny's own personal plan for the climate crisis. Climate crisis, my personal plan. And I have to say, this is probably as close to anybody 
about uh, my plan. This is like, if I was writing for Medium, I probably would have written this. Take it away, Lanny Rose, and uh, let's hear your personal plan how to survive the climate crisis. <clears throat> As you probably know, I am a member of the Doom Squad. I believe we, humanity, are not going to muster the political will to take effective action against global warming. I am the type of person who needs a plan for the future. So I've got one for handling this all too soon eventuality. Lanny, that is T-O-O, -O, not T-O. Come on, girl. Anyway. So I've got one for handling this all too soon eventuality. My plan is simple. I am going to die. In our culture, we revere the hero who goes down fighting even against overwhelming odds. How many of us are that hero? Most of us may not know unless and until we have our trial by fire. But me, I know. I'm no hero. I'm just gonna die. What other plans are possible besides just dying? A very popular one, it seems, is denial. That proverbial river in Egypt? Business as usual. Nothing to see here. Move on, move on. This is actually a great plan. It allows one to keep living life to its fullest until the time comes that that is no longer possible. But this plan isn't really a choice, is it? It's just your personality type. Unfortunately for me, it's not possible for me. Yes. Another very, very popular plan is to make hay while the sun shines. Night is coming, whether we not whether or not we want it to, so let's grab for all we can get. There we you know, obviously she's figured it out. Grab for all we can get until then, which is another way of saying while we still can. Because while we still can is, you know, another way of saying until we can't. So, in effect, grab for all we can while we still can. This approach is cynical and neither generous nor kind nor compassionate my three highest values. It is sociopathic. It is psychotic. It is the, cho the chosen plan of oil industry executives and politicians the world over. I can't do it. I am greedy, but not that greedy and not that cold. Yeah, so anyway, so Lanny is not going to get it while she still can. <clears throat> the plan chosen by perhaps the best hearted among us is to work to avoid the catastrophe or to lessen the inevitable catastrophe or to soften the blow. God bless you people. If I could think of anything to do, personally, that would have any impact to those ends, I would do it. If it weren't too much work or sacrifice. But I don't see it. I hope I do see it eventually, but at this point, it all looks futile to me. Here's a good one. If I feel too small to have any impact on the catastrophe itself, perhaps I can still do something to help a 
few people, if I can help even a single person, shouldn't I do that? Yes, I should. Well, I hope I can help someone or several someones before I die. But you know what? I'm starting to doubt the intrinsic value of any single human's life whatsoever. A million dead in the USA from corona panic, and nobody seems to care about the 0 0.2, anyway. Endless mass shootings in the USA, and no gun laws are passed. Poverty and hunger in the USA and around the world, and we just let it happen. And you want to tell me human life has value? Why not become a doomsday prepper? Will it prove to have been worthwhile? I'm not sure. Do I have what it takes? Uh, I don't think so. Here is what seems to me to be the best plan for those who really want to survive the coming catastrophe. Form self-sustaining, mutually supportive small communities. Yes, the cool thing is you can start forming your communities now. You have a little bit of time to get it together and develop your sustainable practices and community bonds and security measures. You will have a loving, supportive family as you thrive for perhaps decades longer than the rest of us. A few of your communities may even survive long term. You have essentially formed a hunter-gatherer tribe, the only organization of human society that has lasted tens of thousands of years. Good luck, you guys! If I were younger, more sociable, and more life-loving, that would be the path for me. But I am just gonna die. I'm old. Young old, let's say. I'm 67, and I have done enough living. Another decade or two is plenty for me, and I don't really care if today is my last. I have achieved what I'm going to achieve in life. I have no further goals. I never procreated. I never procreated. There is my biggest contribution to mitigating climate change. Hmm. So I have got no children or future generations of me that I care about. I have got some family, but we're not close, so they can make their own choices. Realistically speaking, I have no survival skills. I have never grown or killed a single thing I have eaten. I can't fight, can't handle any weapon effectively. When the grocery shelves go empty, I'm dead. I have no way to grow, hunt, or procure food. When the wells and reservoirs run dry, I die of thirst. When some guys with guns show up to take what I have, I hope they shoot me because I'm dead anyway. I have no way to resist them, and when they turn me out or run off with my resources, I'm dead anyway. Oh, I'll probably use my savings. What hasn't been destroyed by inflation and the coming stock market crash and the funds I get from selling my house, if I can sell it, especially after it is burned down in the coming forest fires, to run for a bit, me and my honey can pack up the car and drive to somewhere more survivable 
for a while where food and water and shelter are still available. I uh, invited uh, Lanny to move to uh, the Finger Lakes of New York, but she wrote back and uh, told me there was this thing that happened about half the year, you know, from like November 1st to May 1st. That kind of is why she is ruled out uh, moving to upstate New York. Uh, where was I <clears throat> driving to somewhere more survivable for a while where food and water and shelter are still available, but it won't be long before the money runs out or there is nowhere else to run to, and then I'm dead. I am fortunate to live in the USA where things will probably be survivable for a couple of decades longer than those parts of the world that get it worstest, fastest. I'm looking at you, India and Saudi Arabia. But then I'm dead. There is a certain kind of peace of mind in accepting that death is not just inevitable but coming soon. So my plan is, I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to struggle for every last hour of life. When it is clear that the end is nigh, I will be looking for the easiest way out. Maybe I'll invest in a sarcopod. If you don't know what a sarco, you know, it's one of these suicide machines kind of like the Soylent Green machine, which you can actually buy online. My plan is to die. What is your plan? There you go. Uh, more from Lanny Rose. Civilization is doomed. Blame the cows. Global climate change. It's the cow's fault. Oh yeah. People want to blame global climate change on humans, but we're not to blame. It's the cows what done it. Here is not my problem. <clears throat> not my problem. You should not feel guilty about not doing enough. I feel guilty about not doing enough. Yes. But anyway, that's another one of those similar things, you know, just more and more of these. Uh, I know that little eco pussy read one yesterday. Uh, here is, you know, talking about when we hit 8 billion. On Tuesday, humankind begins to die out. Not our problem, though. So pour yourself a drink and toast the end of times. Here is, relax. We are all doomed anyway. And uh, as they say, this is a recurring theme. We're fucked. And there's nothing to do about it. So, uh, I'm going to pour me a drink. That's, what I, that's my plan. My plan is to die with a, uh, with the taste of tequila on my tongue. Uh, <laughs> when the bullet uh, takes me, um, I'm hoping I'm enjoying a, a margarita which I'm going to be enjoying in a few minutes, and I suggest you do the same. There you go. I think Fauci has two C's in it. I know that Lanny is a big supporter of Anthony Fauci. She is not a friend of uh, people making light. One, one thing Lanny does not make fun of is the corona panic. So, uh... Probably just as well, Laddie's a tranny. Cause, uh, <laughs> she, 
she would uh, have falchied me. Uh, you know, falchy, the verb to falchy is a verb that was invented. All pile of fish, uh, you know, the pile of fish recommendation to people, uh, if you're on pile of fish and you find somebody who uh, doesn't think that wearing the mask and taking, you know what I'm saying, if you find one of these anti-maskers, uh, someone who has done their research and not found it in their best interest to get the vaccination, that what pile of fish suggest you do is ghost the person. No explanation, just disappear. It's called to falchy someone, to uh, get them out of your life, have nothing to say to this clueless moron. Anyway, so uh, Lanny probably would have falchied me anyway. Damn. I haven't been over a pile of fish in a while. Maybe I need to go back over there. Bye, guys.